so fucking slow. Why is this? Did I just say the F word? Oh no. No, it's we're we're already started. We can't start over now. We we'll just have to begin from the start. buffering. What the hell? Jeez. Am I not on the right internet? Here. Why is this happening to me? Oh, oh I'm on the second floor Wi-Fi. Oh, your computer. Oh. I thought you were talking about my phone. No, your phone's fine. Oh, perfect. Here, welcome to the podcast. Hi, everybody. Watch. Welcome. It's another Tuesday night in the house. Happy to have everybody here. It's May 26th. Oh, yeah. May 27th. Nope, May 26th. May 27th? My sister's birthday is tomorrow, May 27th. Today's May 26th. Ten days ago, I turned 27. Whoa. Whoa. What a new life. What a new lease on life. <laughs> Just trying to get in here. What up, everybody? We got Nick in the house. Hey! Welcome, Nick. Thanks. Cheers to you. Happy to have you here. Let's have a cheers. Got some strawberry juice and ginger ale. Back on Noir. From Ines Hey. Yeah. Welcome to the show. Jason and Justina, give a shout out to them. Oh, my sister just joined. Happy birthday tomorrow. Give uh, Greg. Hi, Greg. Let's give Greg a wave. Hey, Jason, Samantha, and Greg. It's great to be back. It's uh, it's been three days since our last live stream. This is our new part-time job. A lot has changed. A lot has changed, yeah. I mean, got air conditioning in the apartment. Still hot. It's still hot. It is the nicest day of the but year every day. We've been blessed with some beautiful weather out there. Nice. So I hope everyone's been jo- enjoying the weather. Hello, Samantha. Now I'll take the sunglasses off. I didn't even notice you're wearing any. Yeah, I just thought for the dancing. I'm gonna down my drink in five seconds because it's so warm. How's it going, Samantha? She's on the other end. She's gonna connect with us. She's yep. gonna be joining, joining the, us the very live stream today. So. Everyone get in here. He'll be happy real soon. The cooking drunk and Samantha Lockyer sent a request to be in your live video. Both? She wants in. This way. We're letting her in. Letting her in? We're letting you in. Let's give the people watch. I just want to make sure the volume's right. Yo. Hi. Welcome. How are you? I'm good. I'm in my garage. Nice. Garages are great. We don't have a garage. Yeah, I know. I, and that sucks. No, it's it's a great garage. Like, like, like it's a it's a great garage. I have a whole video system here. I, I'm just kind of showing you my garage, aren't I? Uh, and a bunch of car, you know. That's it's a cool great garage. Art. What? That's some cool art. Yeah. What you got up there? What do you have? Up here some crazy stuff, right? Pardon me. Kitty. Yeah. Still up. yeah, we just have bare white walls. And no white walls. You have to go to the Salvation Army, you know? The white walls. Well, we have like amazing art all over, everywhere. Hey, did you guys set, we're just surrounded by white walls everywhere you look. Yep. Ain't that the truth? That the truth. So yeah. Sam, ha- thank you for joining us today on the show. Thank you for having me. Um, I guess uh, first things first. How are you? <laughs> um, uh, you know, I'm great. I'm going a little bit crazy here. Same. You know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like everyone else. Yeah. I started I started picking up garbage. And you know what? It's the weirdest thing. When people see you picking up garbage, I feel like I'm doing something wrong, you know? Like they think I did something wrong. 
because they think that you touched something that's bad or something. Yeah. Or or like I'm I'm like picking up for a reason. You Mark know. Just wave. I don't know, like like Mark. you know how they got kids to like go pick up garbage because they did something bad, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I started, I started cleaning up this walkway beside this lady's house, and she came out, and she, like, offered me some water. And then, yeah. like, she came up herself and started helping me. And then she, like, called her kids out to help me. It was, like, the cutest thing ever. Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, what, do you, what do you think of the what happened on the weekend with everybody partying in the park? In the park? With all the yeah. people? Yeah, what did you think of that? I mean, like... You know, there's there's going to be stupid people, you know. Right? Yeah. That's the same thing my grandma said. That's the same thing my grandma said. Yeah. Right? Like stupid people. Stupid people. I'm just like... I mean, I guess there's people that don't really believe. I feel like half stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Did you go? Like in those pictures, Jade is in the background. No, I was at a different park. I, I'm just kidding. Comfortable. But no, I was just thinking about that. Um, just with everything that's going on right now, it's just like, it's a Tuesday, but is it really a Tuesday? Do you feel like it's a Tuesday? I don't, it feels more like a Friday or like a Thursday. I've been in quarantine since February, so. so you have no idea. No, this no. Like, to, you know, it's kind of just like one long day, you know? You think it's... I'm pretty sure. It is. You, it is? I can confirm. I checked. Okay. But uh, we had some questions we wanted to ask you about the film, as well as your experience. Um, but I'm going to save those for later. Instead, I'm going to do these speed round. So, okay. Uh, I'll hear bring a bit here. Nick and I will both... We'll, go, we'll interchange interchange you do one i do one okay sure I'll, I'll start so where are you from where am i from a place called rose hall in prince edward county cool where are your <laughs> oh. i had no idea what you said there <laughs> that's okay where are your parents from it's not even important um I'd like to my mom, I know she grew up in Frankfurt, Ontario. My dad, I have no idea. Okay. What okay. is your favorite word? My favorite word? Good word. I don't know. I've been calling my, well, we've been calling my dog fool. And it's, it, oh yeah, it's great. Why would he you is, call he's you? a little fool. Let's, oh yeah, so I, I guess... Well, sorry, I was waving back at people, and, like clicking it, and it would reverse that. I'm sorry. Yeah, so let me touch the screen. Yep. Sorry. I'm so yeah. sorry. I mean, should we restart the entire interview? How are you? No. <laughs> I'm, I'm great. You know, stuff happens. We're good. I made a, well, I'm not going to say I made, my fiance made a deep fried macaroni cheese ball. Ooh. Pretty good. Yep, that's about half of it. There's five. Amazing. Yeah, that's pretty good. Sounds amazing. Yeah, I'm like this as in I go and get things. So your 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 favorite word is fool. Oh yeah. What what is your least favorite word? My least favorite word. I don't know. I mean, like, I mean, there's a lot of bad words, right? But, you know, there's no good or bad in, you know, that has a distaste for me. It's just kind of how it's used, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, okay, next. I don't have one. Next question. That's fair. This is like when we did the questionnaire with you, by the way. Remember when I did the questionnaire and I got answers from you, Rain and Victoria? So, 
I know. I'm I'm really bad at answering questions. I kind of take it by from like an abstract view, you know. When you said dessert though, that got Mark to laugh a lot. I didn't even get my other joke. Because you said band and he's like, What's your favorite band? I said Ray, Ray Band. Like glasses. <laughs> you didn't even get that one. I think no. my motto in life is just like don't don't take things seriously, you know? Yep. Not like too seriously. Um, okay, these next like these are all inside the actor's studio questions, so bear bear with me. I've been using the same questions on everybody, so uh, what turns you off? Now this may be a surprise, but littering. What turns you on? People who pick up garbage. All right. Yeah. Yeah. What sound? What sound or noise do you hate? You know that's that's kind of the same with words, like <laughs> you know. Or any sound can be good. I mean, like. <laughs> All right. What, what's it's, your... it's kind of just a sound. It it kind of happens. That's... You know, am I going to remember that sound? Is it like a baby crying? I hear a baby cry all the time because I live with a baby. Right. But I mean, I know people hate that sound, but I mean, it's not bad for me. You like it? Changed my view on this whole thing. I mean, it's there. That's 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 the thing is that it's it's there. Right. You know? Next question. Like you have a favorite, like this. Do you have a sound, or do you like sounds? Any particular sound? Uh, you know, I've always liked the sound of a violin and a saxophone. Like, that's the sound. What is your favorite curse word? What'd you say? What is your favorite? Buffering, buffering right at the end. What's your favorite curse word? <laughs> like, like bad words? Like bad, I've been like saying... Bad I've been saying frick a lot, you know? Be powerful, that can be powerful. Yeah, I mean, like, it doesn't have to be powerful. I, I find it just, it, it's funnier. A well-placed you know? frick. Like, like, I swear a lot in general, but I don't have to say, like, the word. I could say something else, and it's just, right. it means the exact same thing. Like, people are going to understand what I'm saying, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, what profession? Rather than your own and whatever your own you'd like to maybe tell uh, the people that are watching this and listening to get to know you, what profession ra pro what profession rather than your own would you like to attempt? I've literally wanted to try every single profession out there that I've ever seen. Like I, I get so interested in pretty much everything I learn. You know, like. You know, when I'm a fireman, I wanted to be a firefighter, and I got really interested in stars, and I wanted to be an astronaut. I mean, like, if those things were still, like, possible in my life, I would still do it. I'm kind of one of those people that, you know, I'm up for whatever. So, like, you know, I'm, I mean, of course, you know, I love, I love acting. Um, but, you know, I, I myself, I'm having trouble with my words. I don't really consider myself to have any sort of profession. More like a, a, a Jacqueline of all trades. You could say that. Kind of just like jump from one thing to another. I mean, like, you know, as long as it gets you through life and you enjoy what you do, right. why not? Well, that's, that leads us into our next question uh, about afterlife. Um, yes. So uh, what, what drew you to acting? <laughs> That's the question. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. I think the fact that I wanted to be everything, you know, mm -hmm. like I'd see a movie, I wanted to be a cowboy. I saw Spy Kids. Obviously, I wanted to be a spy kid, you know. Kid. And you know, how else are you going to do that? Right. By acting, you know, because when you're acting, you could actually put yourself into that situation in your mind. And I think it's just, 
you know, it, it's the only way to really experience life in many different perspectives. Uh, if heaven exists, what would you want to hear from God at the pearly gates? Long word. Like that buffered all the way through. I thought you skipped past that. You scrolled past it, so I thought we were done. With this. No, no, no. If, if heaven exists, what would you want to hear from God at the pearly gates? You did good, kid. I don't know. What would you say? You did good, kid. You did good, kid. That's beautiful. Um, okay, sorry to segue back to the acting uh, job uh, question, but uh, when, when did you uh, do your first acting job? I auditioned to play a prostitute in a very crude English play in Trenton. I didn't get the role. They felt bad because I lived by the performers. And actually, I funny story, I moved to Belleville when I was in grade nine. And I got to pick my own room because I was the first person to go through the house. And I picked the room with two very, very large windows and mm -hmm. a roof. Uh, right in front of them so I could go out and see the stars at night and one night I was listening and I heard my neighbors talking and it I was I was listening I was like it sounds like they're rehearsing a play and I listened and they were like wait wait, wait no 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 stop stop let's go back and I was like they're rehearsing a play my neighbors are actors that's so cool so um I like I begged my mom and we went over and we talked to, uh, to them and it was just it was the coolest experience and they got me involved in theater and so I didn't get the acting role but I got it to do lighting and sound and I got to be part of you know different performances and it just it really made me love the community of actors and per per like performers in general and you know the behind the scenes and I just I love the community, you know, yeah. Of course, there's, uh, there's not great people everywhere, but they're honestly really good people. Speaking about working in the community, what is, uh, I guess, the aspect of the creative process that you enjoy the most? And how does that relate to community and like being able to, I guess, rely upon each other as well? I really like the research aspect of it because it really puts a magnifying glass on a specific part of the world that I would never know of unless, you know, I, I got the role. And, um, you know, even just, you know, the human psyche in general, you learn things about other people and I think you become more empathetic towards others i mean like i'm i'm speaking from my process in general and just you know how i feel coming out of it i can't hear a thing that Jay, um nick is saying oh i don't want you to uh, we'll, uh yeah we'll that's I just want to jump around a little bit because <laughs> okay. I, I, all the questions are written out, but I'm like trying to like, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. Am I going too long? No, no, no. You're doing great. Okay. So, um, <laughs> what was it like moving up to a lodge for two weeks to shoot a film with a bunch of randoms? <laughs> I threw in the randoms. Part. Really good question. <laughs> because it was, you know, when you go to camp as a kid and you meet all these people that you might never see again and you get really, really close to them and, you know, you have no other focus because, you know, you have one goal and, you know, in camp it's have fun for us. It was to make a movie. We had fun along the way. But you get, 
super close to these people because you know you don't have a lot of time and that's what it was it was that almost once in a lifetime experience for me I'm not saying that I won't do other movies but I think because of what the movie is about we really had the theme of family in mind that leads you know. me to, okay well that, that, that's a good segue to um i mean we're skipping over a bunch of questions that's fine what was it like developing a relationship with the other actors that played your family and how did those on-screen relationships compare to the off-screen relationships Not me? That's, that's not, yeah, no, I, I get what you mean. Um, it's, it's, it's hard to put in words, you know? Because, okay, rephrase the question one more time. Okay, so I guess you just... Too hard about this. I've been in quarantine for so long, I haven't talked to other people. <laughs> I guess just basically like if thinking about how you're on screen, um, the way that you acted and your relationship with the other actors um, on screen, how did it compare to what it was like uh, interacting with them, interacting with them, like sharing bedrooms while we were up at Tom Ray and like sort of, you know, li living with each other, almost becoming a family in real life. What was that experience like? And I, I was just going to ask, how did it compare? Oh, like yeah. yeah. Um like I said before, we, we all had the theme of family in mind. And, you know, even as a kid, you have to learn how to trust the people around you, your family, or yeah, whether it's your, your biological family or adopted or, you know, whatever situation you're in, you have to trust those people. And, you know, sometimes it is willing, but other times, you know, there's, there's not that connection there where you can just tell them, you know, what's on your mind. You know, not everybody has that. Some people don't even talk to their parents at all or siblings, right? So, you know, maybe they're close at one point, but the thought family was never really close to them. So going to this lodge, which is, you know, a very intimate thing for people to do. It was super intimate. Nick and I shared a bedroom. Yeah. Still do. <laughs> with these people, both cast and crew, we had a chosen family. And in Wildfire, it kind of mirrors that, that, you know, at the beginning, not that we didn't trust each other, but, you know, they're kind of estranged and they learned how to trust through small acts of opening up, essentially. And, you know, that's, that's what closeness, closeness is, is opening up. Right? Uh, jump. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, jumping back to uh, your acting. Uh, yeah. So but we've talked about it. Uh, you've worked as background on some pretty big productions. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, totally. We're going there. Uh, do you have any stories or experiences, uh, and what did it teach you about acting or filmmaking in general? Community. It, it taught me community because you go from set to set, and honestly, it doesn't matter what the set is. You see the same people almost every single day. You check in. You 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 have a conversation, you know, um, even people that I was on set with for one day, you know, I add them on Instagram, and I'm checking in on them all the time, you know, I'm seeing what they're doing, they're seeing what I'm doing, you know, um, one guy I met one day, hooked me up with the agent I have now. And I mean, like, that's what acting is, it's, it's networking. And it's honestly, you know, it, it, it's a great part of the job. Because you got to meet so many great people and you know that's that's what background is you know it's a hustle it's not just sitting in a room for a couple of hours waiting to go on set it's it's talking to the crew 
you yeah. know, I used to smoke and I would have a cigarette with the crew and we just chat it up because there's nothing else to do between takes. Like it's, it is awesome. I'm boring at times. Oh my God, boring, but awesome. So, uh, any specific details about uh, behind the scenes stuff that was like sort of uh, shouting out to you in those early experiences being on set, like it, just when they called you as BG onto set and you were ready to go, like anything you were particularly interested in? Like doing background work? I mean, no, like, I was. Yeah, yeah, like when you were just on set, I guess, and seeing like the behind the scene pro. Like I was sitting there hoping that I would do something. Um, not really. Yeah. I mean, like, I think most of the time I was hoping that I would get um, handmade steel, which is yep. a big one in Toronto. Yeah. Um, I don't know if they're done yet. They I've heard, might... of it. heard of it. Yeah. Um, you know, that was a big one because it is complete costume. And, you know, that's what I want to do. Like, if I could do a background in science fiction, like, that would be awesome. I'd love to be Star Trek. I would love to be an alien. I just want that experience. You know, I want that in my blood. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's it's getting the call and hoping that you get something cool. Right. Love it. You know, it's yeah. awesome. I mean, like, if you just want a taste of acting, do background work. They're taking everybody, you know? We should do a, let's do a quick little uh, shout out, a little uh, commercial, a little commercial break. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, anybody you want to give a particular uh, hashtag uh, shout out on wildfire live stream? Hashtag, hashtag. Hashtag, hashtag. I don't really do hashtags. I'm so bad at Instagram. You have no idea. I mean, like, you I think, didn't, didn't I don't you. know who's watching even. No, you Hi, Sam. Love you. Latea from anyway. college. You, woo, woo, thank you. Oh, Mark. Mark's the boss. I, you are the perfect grandfather. I, I'm, I'm just saying that. I mean, like, obviously you say some things in the movie that you may not be proud of, but you just, you just give the best advice. You're hilarious. Hey, let me just play a song, play a song for Mark. It's like crackling. Oh. It's like a broken record. You are so beautiful. Thank you, Richard. And Richard, I just, you know, watching you do this interview was, you know, it it felt good. It gave me the confidence to do it myself. So, and you were just so entertaining. And you completely made the show. Just with that. Well, we still have a lot more to go, so it's not over. Yeah, uh, get get to it, Nick. Okay, I just want to know. Uh, These are some quick rapid fire. What do you want to know? What have you been watching <laughs> lately? Lately. Oh my God. What are the things? Oh. What are the binge worthy? We not engaged. <laughs> that means we watch the same things. You know, we've been watching Survivor, but then we have. Law and Order on the go. You know, we still have to finish Gotham. You know, this whole having Netflix and Hulu and what else do we have? We have Amazon Prime. It's a problem. They give us too many choices. We can't just watch one thing. <laughs> That's true. It takes, sure. us, it takes us like an hour to decide what to watch if we all want to watch something. We never decide. We just never decide. <laughs> we haven't watched a movie yet. The best way to watch something is to watch it by yourself. If I could have one thing in life, I would have my own personal theater, and I wouldn't let anybody in. That's smart. Yeah. Um, what kinds of films do you think um, that the audiences, I guess, that do um, sort of binge a lot, what, what do you think they're into, or that they enjoy most? What do they enjoy? I don't know. I've been out of the loop. What's What's on? Uh, uh, Tiger King. If yep. If you haven't caught up on that. I don't know why. Why are people into this? No. About tigers, it's and kings. <laughs> it's, it's it's crazy that it happened. Well, there's one film that everybody should be watching, and it's not out yet. But a little film called Wildfire. 
Yeah. And I've heard uh, of it. I'm an amazing pivot. I'm pretty excited for this pivotal project. Um, so how did you first hear about Wildfire? I answered an ad on Mandy.com. So, uh, so you got the script, I'm, I'm sure, at some point. Yeah, I got the script. I, I looked what at the character, I was like, your... damn, it's past four pages. Nick um, after, I, I read it while I was at work. I was a server. Nice. And um, I just kind of took it aside and I was reading it and I was making a lot of laughing noises. Customers were looking at me weird. I was crying because I was just what? like, oh, hot damn. It's Why? A good what, script. Ab what about the script made you like just start crying? Like don't any spoiler alert, but what was the feeling? Like, I mean, like obviously sad. <laughs> <laughs> it was the fact, I, I, I mean, like, just to let everyone watching this here know, I've never ha done anything with this much magnitude before. Like, I've only done short films, you know, college, you know, which were a lot of fun and great, but they're learning experiences. This was a real job for me, you know, so... What made me cry was the fact that I got a script that was past four pages, <laughs> you know? And I mean, like, a few other things in the script literally made me cry because it was just a damn good script and it just got me. And I've got to tell you, not, not a lot of things get me. But it's just, the characters are beautiful. They're, they're well thought out. They're progressive. It's a fantastic script, and you know, even if you don't think it's a movie, it's it's at least sweet. And if you don't think it's sweet, it's at least sincere, because everybody who is in it is sincerely putting everything they got into it, and behind the camera as well. You know, uh, that made me cry. You're getting me. Um, <laughs> what was it like to play a character like Tammy? And what did you like most about playing Tammy? I felt like she was just me, but times a hundred. <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, I, I don't know. It's just you know, some, some roles you, you're kind of so far away from, you have to kind of do a lot of research to get into their shoes and you have to kind of change your perspective. But, it, you know, it wasn't that way for Tammy because, you know, I was, I, I kind of like nature and rocks and I used to do some research into, into Wicca because I was just had a general interest in, you know, different forms of religion and um, art and just life and history, you know, I, I've never been kind of like a one perspective person. And I think that's what Tammy is. I mean, a little confused at times and, but she's just so into trying everything in life. So it, it wasn't far from who I am. Uh, what was it like working with uh, Greg as a director? I found him intimidating at first. Yeah. Oh, no. Intimidating? I think I got scared. It was just like, oh, what? <laughs> yeah, I found I found Greg intimidating at first because I, I didn't know what I was expecting. You know, I made the mistake and I came in a week early for the interview and I kind of passive aggressively said, you know, it's kind of unprofessional to not have, you know, proper space. I don't know what's going on. I'm confused. Um, and Greg was like, oh, no, it was uh, it's actually next week. 
and he was totally cool about it. I don't know if he took it as passive aggressive or not, but I have kind of a, like a nice passive aggressive, you know. Thing. You know, I thought I was in the right. I wasn't. So I was. I was surprised that I got called back. <laughs> And um, he picked me up when when we went down to Niagara to do the script. He he picked me up from the bus station, and we kind of just had this conversation. And I don't think I've ever talked to anyone so easily. And you know, I, I discovered that he was just this really chill dude. You know, and then when I we got to the reading, I I found out. I was just around a lot of really chill people and it was surprising because, you know, in my everyday life, when I go to work, when I, uh, I'm just outside, when I go shopping, everyone's so uptight all the time and it just blew my mind. You know, it, it's crazy being around open-minded people, you know, you, you see that stuff done. <laughs> Good question. Good question. Oh, Mark. Mark Matthews wants to know what's your favorite ice cream? Chocolate. Every time. If if I go into an ice cream parlor, I, I pick chocolate and it has to be it can't be soft serve. That's just it's ridiculous. Like <laughs> like right. it's just the basic regular chocolate. Greg, cut yourself some slack. You could definitely take Jason. Look how much you've been biking. Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. I, I, I've seen those maps. All right. <laughs> what was your favorite scene to shoot? Oh, uh, what was it? One more time. What was your favorite scene to shoot? Yeah, one more time. What was your favorite scene to shoot? What was that scene when you kept on going one more time, one more time? Oh, that one. That's just the time you. That one. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I wasn't making you angry. <laughs> it was. Now he's going to take it out on me. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was a crazy one. Um, Take the next. Yeah, no, I did, but it was it was great because we were all tired and there was so much energy and you know and we kept going and going because we all what we were all angry of course we were all hungry but we wanted to get the shot so yeah th that was my favorite scene it's memorable I remember um, I was on Richard's shoulder. And we went out the door, and I look up at the night sky, and I see a shooting star. And it was pretty fucking magical. Fucking oh, yeah. Pardon our fucking French. Sorry. No, that's fine. That's fucking fine. You're allowed to. We're not allowed to. Sorry. Jeez. Sorry. I'm just, I'm just kidding. Um, what, was, what was your most difficult scene to shoot? What would you find the most challenging? Oh, my God. Uh, the scene that I had the most dialogue. I've, I've never had that much dialogue. Right. It was scene. terrifying. I mean, like, in my mind, I had it. But when you, when you sit down and you're carrying a scene and you have everyone around you and they're so supportive, you have to get it right. And you have to get it right for them. I mean, it doesn't matter if the camera's on you or not. You have to get it right for them. Well, we, um, I... We both saw it, and uh, it was uh, incredible what Rain and uh, Greg have done to that dinner scene. My goodness! Yeah, I, I can't wait. I can't wait to see the movie. It it just it, it gives me like a stomach feeling. Like it's it's crazy because you've seen a cut of it, so it's a re, re redux. It's a new cut, and it um it kicks ass. So awesome! Yeah. Uh, in other news. Um, that's something I wanted to really touch on is uh, the dynamic that you built with uh, your um, sister on screen, uh, but actor, collaborator, Rain Pakoda. What was uh, that? What was it like building that dynamic with her and working with Rain?
Yeah, what about chosen family? Sometimes you just meet someone and you click. And you care about the same things and you see that person as your actual big sister and someone that you respect. And so the dynamic between you know, me and Rain or Tammy and Julie, it would hurt me anytime I had to say anything hurtful to her. And it would hurt me when she hurt herself because, you know, that's my big sister. That's someone that I care about, someone that, you know, you confide in. So, yeah, that we definitely had that sort of big sister, little sister dynamic of just, you know, getting through the shit. Together. Together. Even though we fight sometimes. I I mean, like, you know, me and Rain do not fight. I mean, we may fight at some point, but, you know, who knows? You know, the people that I met on this movie, I would like to have in my life. Yeah, we can come over for dinner at some point, maybe. Next question. Yeah. Next question. All right. So, um, after we talked about this in the post we made, that after you were done shooting your scenes as Tammy, you helped this lowly crew out and uh, <laughs> helped us with your talents. So, of all the jobs that you did behind the scenes, whether it was uh, second day C, uh, a little bit of boom op, script supervisor, continuity, or art department, uh, which of those... Uh, has inspired you potentially to pursue more uh, crew roles in the future? I mean, I'd like to do continuity just because it makes me feel personally responsible for that scene and making it as perfect as possible. And I guess it just, you know, fits into my personality because it makes me feel good. But when I put on the headphones for Boom, and I got to hear your footsteps crackle on the gravel, you know, it was magical. It was, it was like having a sixth sense, or just heightened senses, essentially. So, yeah, Boom. Boom. You know? Boom. 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 Boom! What's what's your biggest takeaway of your experience on Wildfire? Or what's just been or your just takeaway? Yeah, takeaway. just the takeaway that you've gotten. Doesn't have to be the biggest takeaway. takeaway. I mean, it's not over yet, obviously, but yeah. there's still a lot more uh, to go. Oh, yeah. I, I think it would be... You, you just gotta be open to life, to experiences. Um, whether... <laughs> yeah, you just have to be open to life and experiences in general. Because if you if you hide yourself away, you, you're never going to experience what's out there. And I think, you know, that's, that, that's what happens in Wildfire with every single character. They they kind of hide themselves from each other. And when they, when they opened up to each other, when they, when they started communicating, things start making sense. So, yeah, I, I've been much more confident since I've done the movie because I just, I'm just so excited to get out there since I had this experience. Um, what was your favorite uh, memory uh, of being up at the Tom Ray Lodge? My favorite memory? Oh, the rec room! Yeah. Rec room! Tom Ray Lodge! You have to go to the rec room. It's, it's just this magical place in this vast forest of rock and water and lake and cold and sometimes very warm and beautiful that place. Feels like going back in time. Oh, yeah. 
I missed the ping pong. It's awesome happening. Yeah. Um, what's, okay, so we're not going to leave off. We're going to still talk after this, but maybe we can contribute to this as well. But uh, what's something about this film that's going to surprise people when they see it? No spoilers. What's going to surprise people? What's something about this film that's going to surprise people? About the movie? I think, and I, I think at times the amount of humor in it, but that could only be, you know, my view of it because there was a lot of humor in it. Right, right. No, I think so too. I'm not sure. Um, the the story it it will surprise and blow your mind. Yeah. Yes. Um. Anyone in the comments have any questions for Samantha? Now's the time. Let's, let's Now's the time. Questions. Now's the time. Uh, I like the ice cream question. That was a good question. What's your favorite ice cream? With mine? Yeah. My favorite ice cream is probably praline, pralines and cream. Nice. Uh, what about you? What are pralines? Pardon? What are pralines? That's my, that's my question. There are nuts, I believe. Huh. I like cookies and cream. So you're not a nut fan. Pretty good. I wonder if you pralines and cookies. I used to like bubble gum when I was like, gum ice cream. But yeah. that, that stuff's whack. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to play a game with you. It's called I Have Transformed. You're going to ask me yes or no questions to figure out who I am. And I have transformed. You both have to ask me back and forth. Yeah. Okay. Um, yes and no questions. About you froze. One second. There you go. You start. Yeah. Who I ask? Like what? Am I male? Am I female? Oh, okay. Am I you know all these things? Are you human? Yes. Am I asking you now? No, Richard asked a question. How are you coping with this world of today? In this world of today? Um, yes. Yes, okay, so, um, no more questions. What, was, what did you ask, did she ask one? Did you, what, was, what did you ask? I, I didn't ask anything. Okay, it's your turn to ask. <laughs> I'm freezing, okay, yeah. <laughs> um, Gotta be more rapid fire than this. The better product. Pardon? Coke, the better product than Pepsi. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. No, my character would agree. Um, okay, I'll, I'll give you a hint. I'm playing a character. I am a character from Wildfire. Okay. Yeah. No, I I I didn't get that because you froze during the instructions. <laughs> no, that's fine. Oh, I see. I see now. So you're going to ask yes or no questions to find out who I am. And now okay. I've, given, I've given you two, three hints. One is okay. that I'm a wildfire character. Two okay. is that I like Coke okay. more than Pepsi. And one, does fire frighten you? No. Okay. Um, do you wear plaid shirts? Yes. I think. I'm not sure. Are you, are you Ron? No. Oh, okay. Did he wear plaid shirts? No. He usually wore white shirts. True. <laughs> or sweaters. Oh, oh so you, your character usually wears white shirts? I, I'm a character who wears shirts, yeah. I bet I go shirt. Okay. Oh, Shirtless around the house right now. It's way too fucking hot. Do you wear glasses? I don't think so, unless maybe it's to read, but I, I doubt I read. Are you are you married? I was. He was married. I was married. Uh... Are you are you are you talking about grandpa? My boat's broken, breath. <laughs> we 
got it. My boat's broken, Beth. Yeah. You oh, and and Richard, I'm so sorry. I I'm coping very well. Jade confused the heck out of me about the yes or no. <laughs> so when you said, "How are you coping with the world today?" Yes, I'm I'm coping honestly. <laughs> it's, it's kind of peaceful. If you haven't noticed, like. When you go outside, people are actually talking to each other. As, at least in my neighborhood, people are kind of like poking out. They got nothing to do. I don't know. Where you know, there's uh, there's good and uh, there's good and bad about the own. Okay. okay. Well, another question I'd like to lead off of from is: Let's. Uh, what are you going to do to have fun tonight? Are you going to dance? Am I going to dance? Yep. I haven't done that in a while. I have a Dance Dance Revolution from oh. 2015 to 2020. But what, did you what I'm going to do to have fun tonight? Um, probably want to take my dog on a walk. Probably going to watch puppy. more the Survivor. About the puppy. So, yeah, you have a puppy. I just want to ask, like, how's the puppy been? How's everything going with that? Have you guys seen him since he's been shaved? No. Oh, no. He's so freaking cute. So they're called Spanish Water Dogs, but another name for him is called the Velvet Hound. And it's because they're just, oh, he's upstairs. There's a lot of people upstairs. I don't want to go upstairs. That's okay. We understand. Upstairs is a scary we place. Are so yeah. Uh, but would you like to see Nick and I act a scene out from the room? From the room? Sure, yeah. yes. Okay, I'll play Lisa. You play Mark? Sure. Okay. Uh, so, scene four. Dressing herself in a sexy outfit to get ready for Mark, Lisa puts on jeweled sandals to show off her toenails. The doorbell rings, and she opens the door. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? I'm fine. That's good. Thanks. How are you? Not bad. I'm glad. Would you like to come in? I? Of course. Come in. You want a cup of coffee? Okay. Have a seat. Lisa goes to the kitchen. Mark sits down and picks up a Spider-Man comic. Lisa <laughs> comes back with two cups of coffee and places them on the table. Thank you. You look very nice today. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mark. She goes to the stereo and puts on a CD of classical music and lights the candles which are on the table. She's speaking in a seductive voice. Oh, it's hot in here today, my dear boy. She removes her t-shirt sure. and reveals a tight dress with bare shoulders. The candles, the music, the sexy dress. What's going on here? She moves closer to Mark and slightly touches him and kisses him on the cheek. I like you very much, lover boy. What are you doing this for? You don't like me? I'm your girl. Mark lightly pushes Lisa away. Johnny's my best friend. You're going to get married next month. Lisa puts the glass on the table and approaches. Mark, forget about Johnny. This is between you and me. Lisa continues to seduce Mark as he resists. Mark, he starts to get up. I don't think so. I'm leaving now. She grabs him in a tight hug and starts to cry. Don't leave. I need you. I love you. Everything is going wrong. I don't want to get married. I don't love Johnny anymore. I dream about you. I want you to make love to me. I don't think so. Don't worry. Everything's going to be okay. He grabs her wrist and pulls her arms away from him. She breaks free from his grip and cracks his shirt, pulling it up from his pants, and unbuckles his belt. At the same time, she kisses him tenderly. He kisses her back. She pulls him to the bed, and they lie down together. After they oh finish my. doing sex, Mark stands up and puts on, <laughs> on his clothes in a hurry. At the same time, he is talking. Why did you do this to me? Why? 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 He is yelling. I can't believe I let you do this to me. Oh, God. Johnny's my best friend. <laughs> Didn't you like it? Didn't you enjoy it? That's not the point. Do you realize what we've done? I love you, Mark. I love you very much. I was always attracted to you. I mean, you are very beautiful. But listen to me, Lisa. We can't do this anymore. I can't hurt Johnny. Sarcastically. Yeah, I know. He's your best friend. I'm glad you understood the si understand the situation I'm in. This will be our secret. <laughs> Did you like it? Yeah. <laughs> Not in his head. I knew it! See you later. He is like, kissing Lisa on the cheek. See you later, alligator. I have to go now. Okay, I'll see you later. She holds onto his arms as, and he goes out the door. End scene. Thank you.
We can't plot for ourselves. You can't okay. plot yourselves, yeah. We didn't yeah. deserve it. Yeah, why not? You, you, you did good. Any notes I on our, our reading? Good. Yeah. So Self-love, guys. Self-love. Any notes on our reading? How on your reading? How could we improve our... How could we do a better performance? Find a better script? Probably. Possibly, yeah. Maybe switch the like characters? Pretty, pretty strong. Yeah, I think like a character swap would be good. Oh, I see. Oh, you want me to play Mark? Yeah. All right. Do it one more time, super fast. <laughs> <laughs> one more time. No, there's no time, but uh, we just want to thank you for coming on. Yeah, thanks for doing this, Sam. You, you are a fucking rock and star, a gem. You are, um, you're just someone who gets, you know, kills two birds with one stone and then saves the birds and brings them back to life. You know what I mean? Oh, that's sweet. I didn't even know what it means. It was good, good to talk to you and catch up with you. It's not interesting. Okay, miss, thank you so much, guys. We miss you, and we're looking forward to uh, showing you some really cool stuff soon. Uh, say hi to everybody over there, and uh, keep safe and well, and hope, uh, you know, this thing, as long as it's going to last with the new normal or whatever everybody's thinking it is, we're going to get through it. Yep. Any, any words to the, the Wildfire fam? The Wildfire family. The Wildfire fam? The peeps watching. Oh, I, uh, I put this in my table. Oh, what does that yeah, say? No, that, yeah, no, Ire, delay, Ire delay. Oh, oh, wildfire! Oh, wildfire! There we go. Is that burnt into it? Yeah, it's a, it's a wood table. That's what we use it for. You burn stuff. Yeah. Wildfire. Guys. We made a good movie. We're making a good movie. Yeah. You uh you got that right. I mean you're you're part of that reason. You're fucking you're part of this. Fucking you killed it. Whether you like it or not. Whether you like it. You did a lot. Thank you. Thank you to everybody on you set. Deserve, thank you. You deserve at least a million dollars. We all deserve a million dollars. Four taxes. Maybe a bill. Taxes. But that, you know, that, I think that might ruin the economy. I have to do my taxes. You should do your taxes. I have a really good tax agent. His name is Martin Jr. Okay. I'm going to go walk my dog now. Have a nice walk. Have a good isolation. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Thank well, you so much to Samantha thank for being you. with us tonight. Thank you, Samantha, so much. And to everybody who tuned in tonight. <laughs> to me, it always starts on to me. You are. Oh, we're going to take like two weeks off. It's the last live stream for a while. I got to get out of here. We'll have one next Tuesday. So we'll be back. <laughs> Same time. No Saturday one this week, guys. Give us a week. Yeah. Thank you, though. Thanks for being here. Yes, thank you so much to everybody like that's been following this, the people that are involved. Everyone make, who watches. We make this for you, and we make this because we love this fucking film. And we haven't even seen the whole thing yet, but it's... No. When it I all don't comes together, even know what it is. When it all comes together, it'll all be worth it. That's right. Thank you, everybody, and goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye. Have a wonderful night, everybody. Sweet dreams. See you soon. Good night. We love you. We love you very much. Give you a big kiss and a hug. <laughs> big kisses and hugs. From far away, though. Far away land. Bye. Bye.